ADA films. We're back. You're another what episode. Up? Ring the bell or whatever. Bust it down. Yeah. There we go. We're back. I'm back from a little break. From a uh, crossfest. How was that? It was good. It was fun. Tiring. It was hot. Um, we did the pop up. That was cool. People showed up, which was kind of cool. It always trips me out to see people line up for our hats and or like clothes. But it was hats, and then Andy took a box of um, like, like random, random merch. merch. Tight. So we just gave it out. Um, it was cool. It was just giveaway, so it wasn't like you had to buy anything. So there's no more of either of those hats, and we're never gonna see them. Yeah, no. I just it was just for that. It was cool. So if you got one, shout out to y'all, everybody that pulled up. Yeah, that shit's tight though. No, yeah, the, festival cool. the, fe- the festival was fun. Just tiring um yeah yeah look you got to prepare yourself for stuff like that like festivals especially because like once you're in you're in till you leave yeah i think i just took it to like i was like i'm just going to like a like going out but it wasn't yeah going out it was like a a whole thing but yeah it was fun um what else happened this weekend oh we got those j balvin threes that came out which it's crazy because I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't think that they were going to hold their value. Yeah, I didn't believe in them either. So shout out to J Balvin. Yeah, but from what I've been told, they're like very limited. I don't know if this is true. Supposedly only 4,000 pairs. Huh? But yeah, that's 4, why I was, I was surprised. A couple of people came over the weekend saying that there are only like 4,000 pairs. And I was like, damn. like That's a little bit. Yeah, it's not a lot for a release. And it like got me thinking like, damn, like if they do more releases like this, would we have this kind of outcome where it's like they're actually going to have some type of resale value? Uh, I mean, it could be yes and no, but I think it's yeah. because the shoe is actually nice. Yeah. Like no, the shoe is actually good, executed well. Everybody likes it. Um, it's Jay Bowen's best shoe for sure. By uh, far. Yeah, it's nice. Definitely. I thought I needed it, but then I saw it in person. And I was like, I don't need this. It's cool, though. Like, definitely. Yeah, they're nice. I got held down with a pair for retail. I don't know if I'm going to wear them yet or not, but they're, they're good. I, I haven't seen them in person yet, but I do like the black ones too. No, yeah, because we had a good amount of pairs last week mm-hmm. um, at 450, which I thought was like a lot. Not a, not a lot, but just like I was like, ah, they'll st- I think they're going to sit. And they Same. didn't. They all sold in a day. And then when I saw you guys posted over the weekend for 500, I was just like, oh shit, they, they held and they went up. Yeah. No, yeah, we I sold a couple over the weekend for like five hundred, and then even I got a thirteen in and posted for five fifty. It's here, but look here, I kind of don't mind if it sits since they're moving pretty fast. Yeah, it's like a shoe that you kind of wanted the case for people to look at. Yeah, because people still want to see it, even if they're not gonna cop. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, um, yeah, that dropped. Did it, uh, did anything else drop? Uh, no, not that I know of. Yeah, uh, same. The fucking uh, I I watched the Colorado game, bro. <laughs> beat down. Got spanked. It was a beat down, but it was f- cool that uh, Oregon put out their dunks, the color changing dunks for the team. So the entire Oregon team had special dunks for that game, which they oh, change hard. color depending on like the heat. Yeah, cleats, cleats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's dope. Yeah, shout out to them and Nike for holding them down and doing special stuff for them because they always come out with cool stuff. We've even gotten a couple pairs of those like. I don't know how they released it, those gray dunks. Yeah. I got one in yesterday. Um, they price dropped a little bit, but it's still like really nice. The box is cool. And it's just dope that they like continue that relationship since, you know. No, it was funny because I was telling uh Ralphie, because he's a big better, and I was telling him like, bro, Oregon's not losing. Like there's no way they're gonna send the message. And also I was just like they put they new uniform like as in new cleats. Yeah. Um I was like, they're not talking like as in like talking shit or anything. I was like it's gonna be a beat down. No, hundred percent. And I, I get like the Colorado hype, but at the same time, they weren't gonna go undefeated. Like just keeping it a buck. Like, no, they're yeah. a really good team. But and they play USC this weekend. and are probably gonna lose. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're probably gonna lose. They're playing out here. Uh, no one over there. So oh, they might, ha- they might be a better game. I mean, I think they probably will come out to play a better game because they literally look flabby and sick. Yeah, and they want some type of redemption. At least make it like a bit more competitive. Yeah, speaking of flabby and sick. Fucking the <laughs> Dolphins put up 70 points on the Broncos, too. Bro, that's that was nasty. terrible. Shout out the Dolphins, though. Yeah, they've been killing it so far to start the season. My Chargers finally won a freaking game yesterday. I was hyped. Yeah, oh. Seahawks won, too. So, yeah. Yeah, the, I was watching the Chargers game because Rafi had money on the line. <laughs> Did he win? Or Yeah, he won because oh, he bet good. Chargers. All right, that's hard. 
Um, but yeah, um, they showed pictures of the what are those things called? The force, the reimagined force. Oh, with the leather. Up yeah, or? I'm not a fan. They They're, look like the black motorsport force. That's yep. how they look like. It's a tour like it though. just doesn't look executed well. Yeah, it kind of looks like a like a fake, just keeping it a buck. Maybe it'll be better in hand, but the fours, those breads, they're perfect with that like new bucky material on them. Yeah, I know Nike wanted to stay away from the like old vintage look, but I think those fours uh, would have looked nice with a vintage look, like if they would have got the lost and found treatment. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Maybe it would have made the leather pair look a little better, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like with the like Royals suede that are coming out at the end of the year. I get it. It's like y'all want to do something a little different, but those were. I don't think we'd be mad with OGs, or even if they did those like the O ones where they just put the fucking swoosh being yeah. like a new buck or whatever. That would have been hard. No, yeah, definitely not a fan of those at all. But yeah, um, what's it called? There's also, um, oh, that's what came out. Those freaking, uh, another colorway of those Asics. I picked them up from Kit earlier this week. Those like green uh, gel 1130s. They're cool. They're um, like kind of like a shamrock green. Mm-hmm. But we was just talking about how Kiko's doing another collab uh, where they're, what are they, they're meshing like the Kayano and the Gel 1130. Yeah, he's doing, uh, I think the GT and then, I don't know, he did like a, me- like obviously redesigned the shoe, I would say. Yeah. But Kiko always does good. Facts. Um, Some of his pairs go for a lot of bread and they're also impossible to find. I feel like that's how I got like what they got into Asics. Yeah, for sure. Because even when we was in New York, you you was wearing a lot of those pairs, and he was doing a lot of good colorways. Still, always, I mean, the new ones look really good. Definitely gonna try to get them. Yeah, his stuff is fifty fifty. I would say sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's too futuristic for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, these look really good though. I'm looking at them again right now, and I'm just like, bro. Yeah, the green pair. Yeah, the green pair pops because the other ones kind of look more subtle. It's like uh, brown and white, but. Yeah, hopefully um, we get some in. Um, uh, speaking of J Balvin, the black ones are releasing too, or no? Yeah, they're up next. Uh, I seen Khaled post that he get, he gifted him a pair already, which, I mean, hopefully we get them sooner than later. Cause think- yeah, those are good, and I don't know if they're gonna be as limited as the the other ones, but they definitely remind me of those uh, the Drake and Wayne pack. The yeah, the Capcom. Pack. Yeah, the ones we never got, which was cool because. They're similar to them. Um, somebody was saying they look like the Quais, but I think the Quais are ugly. The Quai threes, you remember those? Uh, yeah, I could see why they say that. But the Quai was like it didn't have a liner, right? It was like thin. Yeah, it was thin, and then like it doesn't. It's not gradient on the side. It's like color block, so it's like a pink and then like a green and like a blue. It's weird, but yeah, it's like the same flow. But now nah, the the bobbins are good, and we'll see if they uh, continue doing uh, good collabs with him because he's been pretty solid so far, minus the ones. The twos too. I don't like the twos. You like the twos? I thought the twos were tight. No. It just retail was too high. Retail was like three hundred bucks. Because of the light. Yeah, and it's just like, bro, like n- nobody wants to pay three hundred bucks for a pair of like Jordans, even with or without a light. No, yeah, because yeah, I'm still sh- still shocked that there's only four thousand pairs of that. Well, supposedly four thousand. Yeah, 000. that's real. That's crazy. Because that's like, that's not a lot at all. And maybe it might be a thing where Nike's paying attention to like how some of these releases are going and they're like thinking like, oh shit, maybe we do got to start making some of these more limited, which, um, yeah, it kind of makes people covet them more. It's crazy. It's like a mental thing, but cause yeah, if they're, what if they did release a gajillion pairs of them, a couple hundred thousand pairs, would they just be sitting on the shelves for retail? Maybe, or I don't know. Maybe people would have had more of a chance. It was funny. Cause like, again, I didn't believe in them. I thought they were going to tank to three fifty. Yeah. Or just above retail, but they went up. Um, a lot of people hit me up on the weekend. I was like, bro, I'm not even there. Yeah, and nah. The DMs were crazy over those specifically, and then just asking like, oh, y'all still got these other pairs? And I'm like, nah, bro. Because even like one person asked like, oh, y'all, y'all up the price on them? I was like, bro, the price went up. Like, yeah. Those and these are new pairs. These aren't the same pairs. Like, all those pairs are gone. So yeah, just, they just probably the thought they was sitting, and they're like, oh, they upped it. But yeah, no. but nah, bro. That's, like we literally just quick turnaround. That's that's all it is. Yeah, and then um, this weekend, uh, Anthony Edwards showed his signature line. Yeah, they look really good. It looks like I uh, was talking about it. Like It like, looks like Harden's shoe, but I would say a little better. Like a little sleeker. Um, hopefully, it fit good. Um, they put a release date on it? N- not, I didn't read too much into it. I just saw yeah. the pictures. I really like it. 
Um, yeah, it looks I, good. Yeah, and I'd probably try it out, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's dope to see that they're doing uh, like good things because I feel like Adidas basketball, they're not like the most appealing when it comes to like even on and off the court. Like they come out with like a lot of stagnant looking stuff and these are a step in the right direction for them for sure. No, yeah. Um, it was funny because I was having a combo with um, a customer the other day about like the functionality of shoes. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, like Kobe sell because people want to play basketball on them. Yeah. And I was just like, those like Sabrina's are selling really well because people want to play basketball on them. And I was just like, Jordan's, there's like in reality, no purpose anymore. Like they're good, they're great shoes, but as in like the GRs, it's just like people are like, damn, I'm, like I saw that they're y releasing a purple and teal Jordan 6. Oh, the grapes, yeah, the aquas like, or whatever. Like, bro, yeah. You don't eat those. Like, yeah, so I'm just flipping like, OG colorways of one model onto another model, and it's just like, bro, you could just leave it on that model or give and us. And if a you want to do an aqua, just give us a real aqua again, and people would appreciate that aqua because even the playoffs are. I don't know if they're out yet, but people are selling them for like three hundred, and people are buying them. Like yeah. they're selling pretty well, but it looks good too. No, just they got the shape right, and even the pattern's really good on the on the liner. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think that's the biggest difference because people buying Asics and New Balances, there's purpose for those shoes, I would say. Like, people are buying them to run, work out, et cetera. And I was just like, Jordans are just so uncomfortable right now that people don't really care. Yeah, like, you don't want to wear them as, like, casually as you could do with, like, the other stuff where people are always on the go, too. And they're just, like, yeah, they're just easier to throw on, especially on, like, the low-cut ones. You could just slide them on real quick and just keep it going. Yeah, but, um, what's it called? What was I going to say? Hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. I blanked out. <laughs> a fart. Brain fart. Brain fart. Nice. No, but yeah, um, I mean, I don't know what else is coming out that I'm very interested in. Because even I'm telling you, the Balvins, I wasn't super, like, interested in them when I saw them. Because before, when the pictures leaked, I'm like, oh, these are sick. I'm a cop. Wear them once. They look like a little sleeker. Oh, well, we are actually finally getting the uh, the Born and Raised. Oh, yeah, I saw I the long-ass line. That was crazy. Yeah, we had people coming in yesterday all day, like, coming from it, because it was right up the street from here. It was, uh, like, right there by the bridge. And they was telling us how the line was cooked even before, like, like it started type deal. Like You people said got somebody there. waited, like, six hours and didn't get a ticket? Yeah, one of our homies got there at 12, thinking, like, oh, 12 to 3, I'll be all right. They got there, the line was six blocks down. And they the same thing. They thought, like, all right, I'm going to still chill here. And I was talking to them throughout the day, and they were, like, updating me. They're like, oh, it's 3 o'clock, and they said they're cutting it off. But they, like, try to pump fake to see who will leave, mm -hmm. and then they still gave people, like, a chance to, like, get it. But they actually cut it off at 5, and they were just like, all right, like, if you didn't get it, sorry. Like, so they were just giving away tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had, like, a... Or, like, I, a sign-up? or like, Kind of like a sign-up, like, kind of like how Union does it, but I think since they probably never done something like this before, it wasn't as efficient. So um, I heard it was, like, tied into Soho House, so I think there was, like, kind of also a thing where, like, they were letting their people, like, uh -oh. get in. There was, like, a lot of cutting, like, a lot of things like that to where it's, like, it wasn't as fair as, like, some of these other, like, raffle sign-ups have been, which, yeah, it sucks because I know a lot of people want the shoe, and uh, who who even knows if you got a ticket if you're even guaranteed for a pair? Yeah, because it's a chance to win, right? Yeah, it's not even guaranteed, so that's like kind of crazy because yeah, it's like especially spending like the whole day gonna, over there. <laughs> uh, but I think I feel like they're gonna honor those people, I feel like kind of how Union does. Like if you put in the work, yeah, um, you'll get it. And I feel like if you went yesterday, I feel like they're gonna get allocated most of the pairs. Yeah, that would make sense, especially if they like extended the the date, the time of it. They're probably thinking like, all right. We have this a ton is of the pairs. guaranteed yeah. pairs, and then fuck. Well, if you didn't get a tough cookies, yeah, it's almost like all right, whatever we have left, maybe throw online or something. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, we were talking about it last week about how I think they're gonna hold up like four fifty to six hundred. Yes, yeah, because they're super nice. I mean, you have them and it's Hudson too, and we've had a couple pairs come in. I think we still have a size six downstairs, and they're like super nice. Like the details, all like it was really well thought out. So they mm. should uphold. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll hold. I um, same thing. Think, I think they're gonna be like a flying six hundred though. Like people are gonna want them. Yeah, like no. it's not gonna be a sitting. Like, oh, uh, I don't want them because even like the Udos, even Crenshaw's, all those SBs that have been coming out, they're selling well still. Yeah, Udos we can't keep for more than a day. And Supreme Ramos Z's both 
colors. Anytime we get a good size, any small sizes are kind of sit around, but big sizes. They're literally in and out. Yeah. It, again, it goes back to like people are down to like grab them from us because they have the opportunity to either trade for it or you get like the instant gratification. You don't got to wait for shipping and all that type of stuff. Yeah. I'm, yeah. And, and it's kind of cool. And I, I kind of like that. Like, I think people now are also just figuring out what with, with uh, what our intakes looking like. Yeah. Because at the, like some people really do try bringing like <laughs> fucking <laughs> bricks, like actual <laughs> bricks yeah. for like a banger. And I'm just like, bro, I can't, like, I really can't. Cause these are never going to sell. No, 100%. Uh, and then now, like, they are like, all right, cool, we get it. You know, like, when I could help you out, I'm going to help you out. But if I can't, like, bro, it just doesn't make sense. Like, no offense, it just literally doesn't make sense. Yeah. The way I try to tell people is just like, would you make this street, would you make this trade on the street, like, yeah. on a trade block or whatever? It's like, would you make that trade? Like, it just doesn't make sense sometimes. No, 100%. And even, like, it's crazy, but, like, even pandas, yo, like, I'd be, like perfect example, today I went to, to Undefeated to pick up some shoes and, they had them chilling there. You could buy them at retail, one fifteen. The Air Force? Not no, oh, the regular. They, they had the Terra Squads too. They had a couple like small sizes, but yeah, just regular pandas. You could walk into retail stores right now and buy them for retail, and people will like bring them to us. And it's like, I, like if we don't have the size, we'll take them because people do still buy them from us. But yeah, it's like, bro, like everything keeps restocking and just stuff low. Like, like I talked about it last week too, like, bro. I don't remember ever offering this much. Like, yo, you're gonna get less in retail for brand yeah. new shoes like that just came out. Like yeah. even those Palomino threes. Yeah. We're selling them at one eighty and what's retail? One ninety? Yeah. So like that's crazy. And it's not a bad shoe, like compared yeah. to some of the other threes that have come out. No, it's just a buyer's market right now. I yeah. feel like if you want to buy shoes, it's a good time to buy shoes to sell shoes. Like uh somebody was talking to me, DM me about getting into reselling and I'm like, bro, if you're trying if this is don't do it. Like as in like like if you're gonna buy shoes at retail, like you have to be super picky and super lucky. Yeah, right now is not the time to, like, get into reselling. Like, if you want to buy it just because you like it, cool. But even, like, I think sometimes, like, not that we forget, but we, we're spoiled in the sense that people come to us and bring us, like, a variety of stuff because they feel comfortable and they know that we'll take it and we'll be fair about it. But not everybody has that to where, like, some stores just get, like, a bunch of bricks coming in their door. So, you know... You, just because I guess they're not known for buying stuff. And, yeah, can't take that for granted either because we're lucky. We get a lot of cool stuff in on the weekly basis. And, yeah, like even um, like these past couple of weeks, I feel like we've been getting a lot of like older, like solid SBs. Yeah, like crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it's moving. Like people are bringing in trades or like grabbing it. Or even last week we got in a, a platinum. Oh, yeah. And shout out to homie that uh, copped up next day. And, yeah, but. You know, I think we priced it fair. It was super clean. It didn't have the box, but, you know, those boxes get cooked anyway. But, yeah, he wanted to wear it, so, like, it was perfect. Because, yeah, like, really crazy, like, on some Sim stuff, freaking that day that person brought that Platinum, somebody else brought a DS Solar in the same size. Yeah. And, yeah, they wanted a lot for it, which they could probably get it for the right person, but. Again. Because we sold the DS Solar opening weekend. What was it, 65? Six? Yeah, six bands or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, he wanted eight for it, which I'm not saying he can't get it, but it's just like, again, like for us, it kind of doesn't make sense to get something like that on like cashing out when we could buy a bunch of like lightly worn shoes that are going to sell faster for us because that's what people are buying right now. Yeah. Right now people want the, I would say like the steals or just like a better priced option. Yeah. Cause they just want to wear it. Yeah. Like speaking of better price options, Nike also launched their, well, relaunched the their, refurbished, the refurbished thing. Yeah. We was uh we was looking at it over the weekend, me and Rob, and we was just checking out how like it works, which is cool. They have a lot of solid stuff. Like again, it's not like stuff that we would necessarily carry in here, but there was really good runners on there. There was really good basketball shoes that are fifty percent off, and they're basically new. Yeah, no. I, w one thing I was telling, um, fucking, I think it was Julian or somebody. I was just like, yo, like Nike lets you return shoes. Yeah. Like after you use them. Like I know some people that are straight shameless will run in a shoe for a <laughs> month and take it back to Nike and be like, yo, it just didn't work out for me. And Nike has that policy where it's like 30 days, right? Yeah. 30 days or like you could like if it doesn't function to what you want it to, like you could return it. That's so, crazy. So I feel like they're getting all those pairs and they probably have so many pairs that are just completely used. And they don't want to like let them go to waste. Yeah. So they're like, fuck it. Let's put them out. 
yeah. it's kind of cool it's it's a cool idea i i feel like nike's trying to find ways to tap in into i would say our world in a way yeah what like like being like indirect about it well yeah and then also it's just like not letting the shoes go to waste so it's cool because obviously like i saw that one of the big ones was like the unc toe they put the retail 180 and they had it for 108 oh yeah that's hard because yeah like you're getting good you're still getting good product like it's not like you're getting like wax stuff it just it's like coming here and buying a, a lightly worn shoe you're just getting it from nike instead and yeah it's probably going to be in pristine condition like i doubt they're going to try to sell you anything that's like cooked or anything either you know yeah i feel like to me w slightly worn is if you don't get it for retail or obviously if it's not like a crazy shoe if you get a slightly worn pair it's a little better option but I f there is also people that want the crispy brand new pair because mm -hmm. i get it like it's like a nice feeling you know you being the first person to put on that shoe but then sometimes it just makes sense to get the cheaper pair yeah no 100 percent. yeah because we definitely have some clients that that's all they want like if the shoe's not ds it doesn't matter if it's like worn once they want a ds they want to be that person to, to break it in and to lace it up whatever no yeah but yeah we'll take a little break and then we'll get back to it Burp. little break order oh. my food still not here um nike hungry. dropped their holiday basketball lineup one thing that i thought was cool about them doing that it kind of reminded me of like the old nike basketball like dropping like a lineup like yeah what, like when they used to do the all-star stuff or like the easter stuff it gets you hyped to look forward to what what's going to drop for the holidays and there's not like there's pretty solid lineup because you got the reverse grinches you got those uh kd3 the on pearls and i think his newest model as well in the on pearl colorway the jaw the, jaw, the like halloween joints and then the they the, debuted the lebron the new one it's like supposed to be like it's inspired by an oyster which is yeah. kind of cool the black mamba four yeah with the like snake on them those are interesting and then they got a bunch of like freaky models they're also coming out with uh the all black phone posits again which is cool if you like the cdgs and couldn't get your hands on them it's a nice alternative and then they're doing like weird brown colorways of like the up tempos and like charles barkley joints. yeah everybody keeps um posting about the charles barkley's like yeah. a lot of people want them I, I like the OGs that they retro them uh, recently, the like black with the purple and shit. Yeah, they go for a pretty good money, yeah. like $400. It's a, it's a really good shoe. Yeah. I had them back in the day, and I always like those. They kind of remind me of a Jordan 9 in the way they fit and everything. And, um, yeah, it's a good shoe. Um, the LeBron's look cool. I think the LeBron, what is it, 21 now? Yeah, 21. It looks cool. It looks light. It, it looks, looks sleeker. Sleek. Yeah. yeah. It look. I feel like now that, again, like he's not making super heavy shoes. Yeah. Maybe just a different way he's playing. But yeah, they they look interesting. I wonder how they're gonna hold up and everything. Hold up and feel because the twenty I heard good reviews about it. Yeah, like and the twenties look nice too. Yeah, it looks like a Kobe. I just feel like any I mean it's just a low cut shoe, but we just say it looks like a Kobe because it's a low cut shoe. Yeah. Because the Sabrinas look like I think they play like a Kobe five, like pretty close to it. I still prefer the Kobe five though, which is crazy. Like fits a little better. Yeah, it just I don't know, it just it, feels a little nicer the sabrina's good but it, like i still like the kobe more no nah, it's hard and speak, speaking of freaking basketball shoes they showed uh Kyrie's anta shoe yeah bro 300 bucks retail i mean shit better make me play like curry <laughs> no nah, that's crazy and i don't know like what kind of technology is in it i didn't look into it like, but anta um what was the other brand leaning oh leaning, they, yeah they, they always do like good basketball shoes yeah like, like super technical I think performance wise never oh. had one never tried one but i've heard good reviews about their shoes that they're like super super comfortable yeah but i don't know i just again maybe me just being um like corporate like i just like the nike swoosh more than uh like the anta logo like uh -huh. his his logo is cool though yeah his his logo with ants is really nice the only thing i was like thinking about is like and i don't know if they're thinking about this like the ac accessibility to like some of the kids that may want want to try to hoop in it because they like Ky Kyrie, but yeah it's a lot of money yeah 300 dollars is yeah, a lot for a kid it's, it's steep yeah that's one thing again nike does good with the like 130 retail for basketball shoes yeah like some of the like inline or like some of the younger like models like well like the jaws i think retails like 130 even yeah. though sabrina's like yeah. the same thing right which you could buy two of those for the price of one of the Kyrie's. like if you put it into perspective like it's a big difference you know yeah but i mean good for Kyrie. i'm pretty sure he's hyped about that yeah um again one of my favorite players but no, yeah 300 is steep though 
Three hundred yeah. retail for any sneaker. Like I'm telling you, like the fucking J Balvin's two fifty. I'm just like, bro, what? Nah, yeah, it's a lot, and it's. I get it with them. Like they try to like get you on the packaging and everything because the packaging is crazy. You got the regular bro, it's box. A, it's the a, double it's box. a waste of time. I, that's yeah. what I always tell people. They're like, oh, but the packaging. And I'm like, bro, sliding it out, then still opening it. It's just like, all right, bro. Like the, I think the nicest packaging was the original 11s, like the 2009 Space Jams, the Concords. They're just the slide out, the regular slide out. Like it was a nice box, but it didn't have like the cover. It didn't have like all this shit to get through. Um, That one? No, nah, see that one? They did a reverse because they had the cover on the inside. Because remember oh, yeah, they, they had the, yeah. Fuck. My know. favorite box out of all of those was the the Jubilee because the Jubilee just had the little the little opening from the side. Yeah, just a yeah, slider. You, you just oh yeah, the yeah. yeah. But even I don't know. But again, that's where they get you with the retail because even the J. Yeah. It was funny because the J Balvin, it has like a tape on top of mm -hmm. the thing, and I'm just like, bro, there's another ten dollars on your retail just because of that. Yeah, so you don't like scratch out the fucking the plastic that's covering the box. It's like, all right, bro. Yeah, no, you it's know. a it's a lot. And uh, I mean even just for us when we're doing the night picture, it's just like fuck. <laughs> yeah. All this fucking material that we have to get through. But you know, it's cool and I get it from like the consumer aspect. But then from the other aspect, as in like I would say like the seller, I'm just like fuck. Yeah. No way. Cause yeah, from the consumer aspect, it's like an experience. Like, oh, you feel like you're getting like something really high end because of everything that you gotta go through just to see the shoe. Yeah, no, yeah, I get it. But uh, you know, it's just a box at the end of the day. But I'm also just like the guy that throws throws away most of my boxes. Yeah, nah, I'm big on you don't wear the box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, now also, um, uh, they announced today that uh, Pharrell's like Jupiter auction house is gonna be auctioning off that the Supreme set sample. Yeah. The high top joints with the Nike on the side instead of the stars. It's crazy to see. I wonder what they're gonna go for now. Drake's gonna buy them. You think? No, just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> well, they're the they're not Pharrell's yeah. actual pair. It's like a third party. So yeah. like but they're he's just putting it on his auction. Yeah, like just showcasing it through him, which is cool. I know a lot of people were like trolling because of the freaking uh the Yeezy one. How how much cheaper it like auctioned off for compared to the first time. But it's also like, bro, we're in a recession. Like, yeah, it's like a different market. And that's yeah. the thing. I, I Like I always say, like people don't understand. It's like they're like, why did it go so cheap? And I'm like, well, the guy shouldn't have sold it, you know? Like, yeah. And also it's just like he bought it for so much. Like the airship too. I saw that the airship sold for like over a million dollars. And yeah. then now it's like a fraction of that. But it, yeah, it's just like not a seller's market. Just people aren't really spending money like that. No, 100%. And it's like people aren't like. Not everybody's thinking like, oh, let me buy an auction item at this time just to hold it. Because that's, I feel like that's what it is with a lot of those things too. It's like you buy them to hold them and forget about it, not to like try to flip it again. And I don't know how long he had it, but it, it wasn't that long. No, it wasn't that long. It was just yeah. like a couple of years ago or less. Um, yeah, it's just like sometimes people like, when you're buying something so expensive, you can't think about, I'm going to make money on this. It's like a car. Like, yeah. It's just going to depreciate. Like... Again, sometimes you might get lucky and it's going to go up. But like I always say, like when I buy, when I used to buy like crazy like LV pieces or like Dior pieces, I know that I'm going to get a quarter, if lucky, of the retail. Yeah. It's just like I just buy it because I like it. And that was it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, yo, if you like it, cop up. And if not, like don't expect like everything to be a, a come up. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think... That's the biggest thing about, I would say, like our industry. It's like if you like it and you buy it, you don't mind losing the bread. But if you're buying it just because like, oh, these shoes are going to make me cool, yeah. you know, like it's not the way to go about it, I would say. No, nah, 100%. Yeah, because even, um, what was it? I was watching the one of the the sneaker, uh, the Complex podcast, and they had Fat Joe on it. And it was cool because he was like kind of giving insight on his – uh his shoe and how the first ones uh, weren't like an official collab in the sense of like he had a friend at Nike that made him for him under the table. Yeah, it's like almost like a bespoke. Yeah, it was like a bespoke. And like he was talking about how he was actually about to go crazy on them because remember during that time it was like they were also doing like the Made in Italy pairs. Yeah. So essentially they were going to do something like that with the Terror Squad branding. But unfortunately the dude got fired before they could do that. But yeah, and like him just talking about like his release and his rollout, which I thought was cool because he's like 
giving them out to like a lot of people like his friends or whatever and even he gave a pair of freaking bill clinton yeah that was tight as hell like like he's doing the footwork to like promo his shoe and like anybody that knows fat joe like he's been in this industry in his own way like just as long as anybody else like from his fucking viral licking the seven yeah that was like unheard of at that time and he's been around so to see like him still love it as much as he does um like that shit's cool and even like nike giving him the official collab like like it's a nostalgic thing for me that's why i got him but i think it's also dope that like no it's cool they're paying homage yeah it's like nostalgia like even you said that complex did the peso pluma sneaker shopping oh yeah and then jop uh uh joe the puma he gifted a pair of cinco de mayo uh p rods the dunks to to peso that was hard because it's like bro like you don't have to do that you know what i'm saying and like it just gives awareness to that and like even just being a part of it and he was super hyped he was hyped that like the shoes mexican colors and you he's, know he spent like 30 bands right yeah he spent a lot of money him like he cashed the hell out of for him and his homies and it was dope because like you could tell he was hyped to be there and like even big up joe like telling him like he's a fan of the show and everything so no yeah like, like even rob was tripping that um that sneaker complex uh sneaker shopping has yeah. been going on forever yeah yeah and it's just like it just shows you like the growth in the industry because i remember him doing the flight club interview with jim jones yeah way back i think with like pop champagne came out and i just remember um jim jones talking about how he tongue fucks the shoes (laughs) yeah and (laughs) i just thought that interview was hilarious but yeah it just that was a sneaker shopping video and that was like what 2009 2008 the Wale one was too, right? Yeah. Where he bought all the white cements off the, of the 88s. Yeah. The, that was 2012, 2013. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, again, like you could, cu- it's about consistency because mm-hmm. like th- those episodes have, they were probably not as how these are now, but yeah. they were putting them out. And then now sneaker shopping, like people look forward to it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a whole thing. It has seasons now. It's like a whole show. Like, and it's dope. It's dope to see, but it also like goes back to the consistency. Like, if they've been doing it for so long and they're still reaching new audiences every day no yeah and then same thing with joe la puma like he's been there forever yeah he's one of their ogs for sure yeah he's always like like a like a he's like a like a true sneaker influencer like just like a dude that like has been in it for a while that you're just like oh this guy's sick yeah 100 percent. he's always wearing like different cool like sneakers too it's not like he's like just wearing like the same thing every time you see him do it like he's just genuinely into it just like like any other sneakerhead, so it's do- it dope as fuck to see. But yeah, <laughs> fucking sneakers. Shout out to sneakers. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's what's coming up with Supreme. Supreme needs to drop those fucking indigo pants already. Everybody's waiting for. Them. I think every person that I know wants, wants those, those pants. pants. Yeah, because yeah, everybody thought they was gonna drop like first week, no, right? They're probably like next month. Yeah, because what else? They they haven't announced any other collabs. Have they? Bounty Hunter this week. Oh, uh, uh, are they coming out with that? The, the supposedly, figure? supposedly there's a figure, but yeah. it's not the fucking mock-up. But, oh, boo. But I'm, I'm not a giant fan of Bonnie Hunter. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of those, like, overseas brands, I like some of the stuff they do, but they just don't fit well, for me yeah. at least. Because, like, the sizing is, isn't always the same. When they announced that collab, I just thought about all the times where, like, there was a moment where, like, it, I was, it was, I'll bring it up too, um, when if you had some of these Japanese brands or like yeah. overseas brands, you could tax on them because nobody, you didn't know what it was. Like yeah. as in like people out here. Um, and I remember at round two, like we would sell, I would say like some, uh, what I thought were regular shirts that I didn't, uh, obviously wasn't into it. Um, and there, I was like, why is this shirt 250? And it was just because it was an old bounty hunter tee. Um, and I was talking to one of our good customers and good friends actually through round two and through us now, Kazuki. Yeah. He brought in a ton of capital. I remember. And back, <laughs> like, there's a video on TikTok that Andy made of us of how, like, I, like, passed on everything. Yeah. But it's just, like, I feel like now people know what capital is. Yeah. Like, there's people know where to get it, like, Manhattan. Um, I think online stores out here have it, too. Yeah, like, random stores, like, Feature and, like, a lot yeah, of, like, Yeah, a lot of people boutiques. carry it now. Yeah. Um, so, before... If you had capital or the hats, the bucket hats, the snapbacks, like you knew they were going to fly. But then now people have the access to it and they know where to find it and they know what it is that it's just kind of like I was telling him, I was just like, it's it's so hard to I don't want to say it's hard to sell it, but it's just like you're 
like it's just like an to it's just like a supreme now to most people where it's just like oh i know where to get it yeah it loses its allure because of all the accessibility that we have now with like the internet and even just just doing research like it's easier to find things now more than ever to where before you see someone wear it and you literally have to like get lucky and go somewhere to see something to where now you see someone where you ask them what it is it's like oh let me just look it up real quick yeah uh i saw somebody post a a reel like a funny reel about gatekeeping yeah and how the guy was just like the guy didn't gatekeep so he was walking and the dude asked him like oh where'd you get your fit from and he told him like Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. and then the next day they're walking and then the guy was wearing the whole exact same fit oh shit and then <laughs> the, and then this the guy the comment was like this is why you gatekeep but yeah. it was just like you know it's like I, I, don't, I don't know i'm not a gatekeeper nah it's like bro like everything that we we like yeah it, but it should be but even like shout out kazuki he understood he, but yeah. he wanted to learn too like he was asking me like oh so because he could bring stuff from japan out yeah. here so he was asking me like after what people didn't see you know the videos are fun and games and it's me dubbing everything <laughs> and some people are like damn you did them dirty blah, blah blah but it's just like you don't understand that like that's our homie and also it's just like he asked me okay so what's selling well for you guys so then when i come back mm-hmm. i know what to bring yeah. because because he does do that like he'll like even around to new york he would ask us like oh what's selling and i would tell him blah and then at every time he comes back to visit he brought stuff that that's was selling better th- that's selling better but yeah he came with literally like bags and bags of capital and i'm just like bro it's, it's gotta be super picky with it yeah no that's something that he's always done since i think we've known him to where he, he'll always like not that he's super up to date with it but he'll see what he could get out there that we want or like that the states wants and he'll try to bring it back because there was even when bake had its resurgent he would go crazy and bring a lot of bait oh yeah before people like even you were to get bait out of here still again i mean i feel like bape has had fucking different like, waves waves <laughs> of being hot yeah but yeah he would bring all the bait teas and again like i remember around two some bait teas that had a the classic camel 200 dollars. yeah no they, they would like fly, and fly like, hot cakes yeah and then um Fuck, I fucking blanked out of something that he did too. It was uh it was like a uh that mostly the capital stuff. Was he ever like big on needles? Needles too, yeah. Yeah, yeah he brought out a couple of needles flannels and I fucked up, I put capital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because needles was another one that were like for a while now people the were tr- track pants. Even yeah. Barlow's talked about it in his podcast, like you d- you didn't know where to find needles track pants. Facts. And people obviously I think the ASAP guys had a big influence in those that. yeah 100 percent. where everybody wanted needles pants and the same thing around too we would get them and fly out the shelves like people running in for them yeah now uh, yeah now even now we get them and they sell still but like not as fast as before yeah a little slower but yeah yeah i feel like again like if you see something cool just buy it i like that you actually like because even our i feel like one of our better selling sections is our vintage side yeah and it goes hand in hand with the used side yeah, they're they're low key placed perfectly together on that side, cause you could, you could get them both together. And we've been getting a lot of cool vintage in recently too. No, yeah, and again, it's just like understanding the market. Like uh, one of our um, one of our uh, customers that follows us, he came in with a ton of vintage, but he just wanted a little too much for it. And I just had to explain to him. I was like, bro, like, yeah, I understand, but I also understand that the market's low right now. I told, yeah. I was telling him how I have crazy vintage pieces that. A couple of years ago were five racks yeah like but now it's like 1500 and i was just like i'm not gonna sell it because i i don't think the shirt's worth five racks but that's what the market was for that shirt a couple of years ago yeah but i told him i'm like to me it's just i'd rather keep it you know and like no point of like even bringing it somewhere and being like all right well i think this is worth this much like even uh your homie was that's trying to trade for most of my tees. <laughs> I told him like, bro, just trade me. Like, I just I don't want to sell it. I just if I find a cool shirt that fits me right, I'm gonna wear the hell out of it. But I don't really with vintage. It's just hard because again, like it's to me, it's like I don't want to say one of one, but it's just like its own unique shirt. Not hundred percent because even the way it wears in and the way it sits, like the thinness or thickness of it, like there's certain things to wear a t- how a tee wears compared to like how a shoe yeah, wears. Yeah, that's why I hate buying vintage online because sometimes I get the shirt in and it just fits like shit. Yeah. Um, even with measurements, like it's so hard. Like I feel like with vintage, you just have to try it on. Like even when I went to IMAX store, um, 
I was trying on different shirts because they looked cool and I'm like, oh, this might fit well. But then I tried it on. I'm like, the chest is too tight mm -hmm. or like the it, it's shorter than normal. Like, and that's the thing about vintage. Like you literally have to try it on because the, there's times where I've gotten shirts and I'm just like, this is a terrible shirt. Yeah, no, nah, it, it's just more unique. And it's kind of like the, what you just said perfectly. Like you might grab a piece or see a piece and you might never not never see it again if you sell it or you like don't cross paths with it again because it, no it, yeah like um i wear my 87 iron maiden t like the shirt that i fucking always wear <laughs> and it's funny because uh we were at the cross festival and right away when we walked in i got a compliment and i feel like everywhere i wear that t-shirt people come to compliment it yeah because they ask is that original blah blah blah, and i'm just like yeah bro like <laughs> Um, no, and it has like its own look to it, like bro, that shit, like it sticks out. Like, no, yeah, like, and even Gonzo was just like, oh, he's like, let's keep count because every time I go out with him, I always <laughs> get compliments on that shirt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just again like people being like, like they know what's up. I don't want to say what's up, but they like they. I always tell people like nostalgia, will gravitate people towards something, like no, where they'll be like, oh shit, I remember this. Yeah, it goes back to like it. It's the same thing as like when we wear certain shoes, especially like when we we're younger. Like, oh, like nice shoes, or oh, where'd you get those? Yeah. Like, it's a conversation starter, and you just never know where it could lead to. Nah, and you don't do wear it because of that. You just wear it because you like it. But it's just a good way for people to connect to one another. Or, like you feel like you relate to one another through a piece of clothing, which is crazy, but it's true. No, yeah, like I mean, it, it goes back to like the syndicate brand too. Yeah. Like we make stuff that like that i like and even uh like uh dan another good customer um what shirt did we just drop the donnie darko tea mm -hmm. and even him he was just like oh you wouldn't expect it but we have a lot of things in common because he likes all our teas but yeah. he watched all, those, all movies. those movies and then i was just like same thing like me and dan you know i think we're like two opposites and he's very <laughs> quiet and i'm just like more out there yeah um and he was just like i wouldn't he he even told me he's like i wouldn't know that you were into all this stuff and yeah. I was just like, yeah, it's just I make a T-shirt that I'm like, all right, I like this. It's relatable. Yeah. No, yeah, I was tied. Even one of uh, the customers that bought one, he like tagged us in, and he has yeah, the, the tattoo tat yeah. right here. That shit was hard. I was like, oh damn. No, yeah, so I mean, I always tell people Donnie Darko is like a cult classic. Like people that were into it like rode hard for that movie, and it was like yeah. fucking young Jake Gyllenhaal. So it was cool, and his sister was in it too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean. Even with the brand, I feel like that's what one thing we're going to keep pushing. Just like, I don't want to say nostalgia, but it's just like, all right, cool. I fuck with this. All right, cool. Sick. And there's a lot of drops coming up. Like, there's been a lot of drops, but the end of the year is definitely going off strong. No, yeah. I literally have so much stuff. Like, it's literally, there's a ton of boxes downstairs with just ready with stuff to do. No, yeah. But yeah, no, there's the two year anniversary thing is going to be sick too. No, yeah. The hoodie that I'm making for that. Yeah, Same. it shows nuts. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. No, and it's cool because I feel like it just shows, like, again, like, th going back to Complex, just, like, being steady because there's mm -hmm. people, um, Jorge posted this, the Spider-Man tee. Yeah. And a guy ran, literally ran in here, and he's just like, oh, I see my homie post your guys' shirt. Like, can I buy it? And we're like, bro, it's been gone. But he came in here, and I, I wasn't, we weren't dicks to him. We're, like, we weren't like, nah, bro, it's gone. It's sold out, blah, blah, blah. We told him, like, look, bro, we always put stuff out, follow us, blah, blah, blah. And shout out George, you know, he tagged us in it and somebody came in asking for the t-shirt that he posted, but the dude was mad nice. And I was just like, bro, we're going to, we dropped different variations of the Spider-Man tees because we like Spider-Man. Um, and again, it's just like, it's a new customer, you know, or it's just like a new homie, shop homie, anything, you know? Yeah. That's one thing I also like, like about the brand. I don't think we talk about it much that like every piece is kind of like also like a timestamp since like we don't really do restocks yeah like so, i think we're doing the scream restock but that one just too many people asked for it so yeah. we're doing that for halloween again and there's still another really good halloween tea that's dropping too yeah but yeah i hate doing restocks because it's just like if you were there you were there you know like you got it yeah like it's just it, it makes that t-shirt a little bit more special yeah 100 percent, and it, it gives it its, its own story as well so it, it's just cool like and i think that's one thing that like not everybody gets it because you know i get it some people want the product later or they get onto us later but it i think it's a really cool thing about like the way we do the brand where it's just like all right if you were there when it dropped fire <laughs> no yeah and it's just like little details like we're doing a soccer jersey and it has the number four uh, on the back and i was just like my my i think my all-time favorite soccer player that's 
not like Ronaldo or Messi, is Sergio Ramos. He wears number four, and he's like one of the league's best defenders. Well, one of the world's best defenders at his prime. And just like he was Real Madrid's captain, um, and he's just he's just a dog on the field. So I was just like, oh, this was sick. So it's like little stuff like that where people ask, and I'm like, oh, it's because this is my favorite soccer player. Yeah, no, nah, that's the thing. Like there's always more detail to them meets the eye. No, even uh, we did the cross hats. And it was a vintage uh, San Diego Chargers like color, you know. It was just like the old, old Chargers, the teal with the yellow. Yeah, yeah it was like a powder blue. blue. Yeah, Very but it was vibrant. more teal. But it was as close as possible that I could find that it made sense. But yeah, yeah it's just like it's cool. And again, it makes the people that uh, shout out, shout out to you guys, feel special. You know, like even with the the hat that uh, Andy made, it was an Oasis. I love Oasis, so it was just like cool. You know, like. And it, it's cool to, like, give it out. And um, it was funny because then randomly, because uh, we didn't uh, give all of them out right away. Like, we after we left, there were still a few left. So I guess they did their job, and they are like, oh, there's free hats. So we were walking around San Diego for a bit, and you would see random hats of people that, like, you know, we were walking right by them and didn't know who we were. But they were probably like, oh, a free hat, and they were wearing yeah. it because they liked it. Oh, that's hard. So even at the festival, we saw somebody else wearing it just randomly, and we're oh, like, oh, that's it. That, that, that Andy, Andy posted. posted. Yeah, so that's it was tight. just ra- it was cool to see random people that we never seen wearing the hats, and they literally were like, oh, these are the guys that made it, just walked right by us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's even cooler because it's just like, it's always just cool to see the brand in the wild, and even when people like send us pictures or videos of them wearing it or they see other people wearing it. like Yeah, that's why I like, I always do it here and there um of like people when people tag us like like so screenshot it post, and yeah. then do like a appreciation post that's always cool so tag us we'll repost it whenever i ha- i need to make a post <laughs> but yeah Thanks. um i think that's how we'll close it out yep. um thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe all platforms